Hi guys, it's Lynn Vanui and it's time for another Ipsy unboxing review video. If you guys like these types of videos, please give this a thumbs up so I know to keep making them. And if you don't know what Ipsy is, it's basically a monthly subscription service. You get a bag every month for about $15 with the shipping, handling, and taxes, and it comes with about five beauty products. So I've had my Ipsy for quite a long time, and if you guys are interested in checking it out, I will have a link in the description box below. First off, let's talk about the bag this month. So this is what it looks like. It's just this really pretty silver with the silver along the top. It's like really glittery. And then it has like this nice um, mint lining on the inside, and then also, on the zipper and I think this bag is super pretty it's probably gonna be one of my favorites so let's talk about the products I'm going to go through them in the order that I use them on my face so starting off I have the Lisa Frank collaboration with glamour dolls and this is an eyeshadow in stargazing and it's a shimmer eyeshadow so that's what the packaging looks like and I was actually pretty excited to get this because it really made me reminisce on my childhood if you don't know who Lisa Frank is look her up uh, it's She's an artist and she did a lot of stickers and things like that when I was a kid and they were always very fun and colorful. Things that I can immediately think of are like leopards that were like rainbow colored and, and like a lot of unicorns and horses and dolphins and things like that and hearts and stars and all of it was like super fantastical. So this is the eyeshadow that I received. Mine was in the color Stargazing. I think there was one other color that they were offering and I actually really wanted this one because gold really suits my eyes. So this is what it looks like. Super, super pretty. I'm trying to remember what the other color was. I think it was a brown. Obviously I'm wearing this on my face today. I have it on the lid and then in the crease I have a different eyeshadow which I will have listed in the description box below as well. This is what it looks like and it's super pigmented and super shimmery and pretty. So I was really impressed with that. Definitely something I would pick up on my own because I, I really like gold colors. For someone that has blue eyes eyes. Golds and oranges I find are really complementary to my blue eyes. I really like this color. I'm really impressed. Let me go on my Ipsy app and just tell you what the other color was. Also that's a really cool thing about Ipsy is that they have an app that looks like this and you can see what's coming in your glam bag. You can review the products etc etc. Heartthrob was the other color and it was more of like a orange brown. There. I think I honestly, thinking back on it, I would have been happy with either color, but I already have a lot of orangey browns. I think I was more excited to get the gold because I have less gold colors than I have brown colors. All right, so next up I have the Smashbox Always On Gel Liner, and this is in the color Fishnet, which is just a black eyeliner, so it looks like that. And Honestly, I was like, mm, whatever. Like, I always get eyeliners in my Ipsy. I pretty much never run out of pencil eyeliners. I have so many. So I was just kind of like, whatever, like another one to add to the collection. But this is by far my favorite eyeliner that I've received by Ipsy so far. When I first got it, I swatched it on the back of my hand and I like was like, oh yeah, like that's a really nice creamy black and it's like true black, so I love it. And then I was like swatching some other things that I got, whatever. And I go back and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna do like a rub test because I always do that with my pencil gel eyeliners just to see how well they hold up. Like if they smudge easily, they transfer. So I smudged it and it did not budge. And I'm like fairly certain I didn't really have any transfer on my fingertips either, which was like crazy. And I was like, whoa. I'm wearing this on my waterline today. I pretty much only wear pencil type things in my waterline. And then I use my liquid eyeliners for my little cat eyes. But yes, I put this on my top waterline and it did not transfer to the bottom whatsoever. Anything that kind of did end up on my bottom waterline was honestly just me being a klutz and accidentally putting it there. But other than that, like for its own thing, it did not transfer to the bottom. So I'm super, super obsessed with this eyeliner and I would actually repurchase this, no problems. Next up, I have this little tapered brush and I'm trying to remember, it says something Miss Glam and this is the L36. Let me just 
double check on the app once again to make sure that I'm reading it correctly. Okay, so it's SL Miss Glam and it's the L36 Tapered Highlight Brush. But then in the description of the product, it says, not only does this tapered shape make applying your highlighter, bronzer, and contour super simple, but it can also be used with powder, liquid, and cream formulas. So instead of using this as a highlighter brush today, because I have like three highlighter brushes, I actually use this as a contour brush. And I found that it worked really well because it is tapered. So I get a little bit more control than I do with my fluffy angled contour brush. And I can also like smush it down to blend out. So I really, really like this. It's super soft. Love the color. It's like super magical and it has sparkles on the handle. And then it also has these little rhinestones. Next up is the Too Faced Melted Latex Liquid Lipstick. Liquefied High Shine Lipstick. My bad. And this is in the color Hot Mess. So that is what the packaging looks like. I was super excited when I saw that this was coming in my Ipsy because I've always wanted to try the Too Faced liquid lipsticks, whether it was the melted latex or the other kind that they have. I think it's just like a liquid matte lipstick. So I was super, super stoked. I love the color of this. However, it is so thick on my lips. Like I literally, I feel like I have a hot mess on my lips. Like it's just so thick and creamy. And don't get me wrong, like it's a beautiful color and it's very comfortable to wear. Like it's comfortable in the way that it's not like bothersome. It doesn't feel drying or anything on the lips. It's not like uncomfortable to wear and to talk with, but it's uncomfortable to me in the way that it just feels thick on my lips and I can't quite get past it. And when I first applied it, it felt super sticky. Like just, I, I know you guys have heard me talk about this before where glosses are just so unbelievably sticky. Like it's disgusting. And when I first put it on, it was incredibly sticky, but now that I've had it on for a little bit and it's settled onto my lips, it doesn't actually feel that sticky anymore. Sorry, I'm completely staring at myself in the viewfinder cause I'm looking at the stick factor. like. It's actually not sticky whatsoever now. So that's actually a plus. At first I was extremely turned off by that, but now that it's actually sat on my lips a little bit, I don't find it as bothersome. To me, it's not necessarily a bad product. I just feel like it's something I don't necessarily think I would reach for often because it just feels very thick. But now that it's not actually as sticky as it was when I first tried it on, I do think that I like it more, if that makes any sense. It's grown on me in the past, like, however long I've had this product on my mouth for. Moving on, next up I have the Ue or Way Hair Care Hair Oil, and it doesn't have any other information on it other than that. So this is what it looks like, and it is a pump, so it looks like that. And I was kind of disappointed in this product when I realized that I was getting it because for me, honestly, my hair is frizzy and it is dry, but also when I put oils in it, like I put this in and to me, now my hair just looks greasy. And yeah, I often don't like putting oils in my hair because I hate that greasy look. It just really turns me off. I don't think it's a nice look on me. There are some people I think that can pull it off, but for me personally, I just don't like that oily, greasy look. In my hair or in general really yeah I don't know I just I'm not super impressed by this product I might gift this to a friend or family member if that's something that they would be interested in because it's just not something for me yeah I don't I hate putting oils in my hair I hate it so yeah so guys I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up don't forget to hit subscribe and turn your notifications on especially now since I'm posting on Thursdays you want to make sure that you don't miss any new videos everything I talked about today will be listed in the description box below as well as well as all the other makeup products I used and don't forget to follow me on social media so you don't miss out on anything that I post they will also be listed in the description box below and until next time keep shining bye guys